Hey guys, what's going on? Good, uh, almost morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 11.45. I'm doing a couple of reviews, both are Ladafa fragrances. I'm going to be speaking like this a little bit slow. Uh, as you know, I'm recovering from sickness. I'm still uh, not pretty unwell. I am somewhere much better by grace of God. My uh, pains relieve a little bit and I'm still recovering from the kidney problem. So I'm taking plenty of rest, sleeping it off most of the day, work a little bit, walk a little bit, trying to drink a lot of citrus water cut off all you know if you didn't see the other video i'm cutting off all the you know toxic uh part of my life like red meat uh, my favorite steaks and all that uh beef in general beef uh lamb whatever you can mutton so i'm also cutting off uh, sugar all the drinks everything you know like i still have them around but i don't drink them anymore so i am basically doing this if you know uh, green tea uh, with uh, lemon there's no honey as well so I'm drinking everything without sugar. Life is good. I'm eating healthy, so I'm feeling better. But I'm very weak still. Sleep most of the day. So uh, I'm doing reviews because I'm feeling better a little bit. Okay. So thanks for all your prayers and good wishes. Stay connected with our group, Prakkom Bangladesh. So today I have Velvet Rose, this fragrance, which is a brand new release from Latafa. Wonderful, amazing house of Latafa. Um, I I'll tell you one thing. I do not work for Latafa. Neither do I have any collaboration with them. They did not send me anything. And they don't pay me or anything like that i just think this house is so worth it because the price point presentation and what they offer for value it's like a win-win situation always and i also get a lot of views doing these videos whenever i spend like 20 25 dollars on a fragrance and when i review it i i get so much more you know from the views so that's just amazing it's like a win-win situation for me so that's why i buy them i'll continue reviewing them velvet rose is a brand new release i think before this i did a tuscan leather clone i forgot the name of that which had the same bottle but this is a stunning juice color stunning presentation and perhaps it's uh, something similar to rose de Arabi, perhaps by house of uh, armani okay so here is the beautiful packaging it comes in it's like a cylindrical box you can say similar to dior's preview line but they also added this suede leather uh, kind of like a tag which is the name and latafa and if you uh, turn it around, you don't see much in the information by the stick, but the sticker. Here is the Latafa's logo. This is also Swedi. And base, you'll see all the other information made into by 100 ml, thankfully, and EDP. They can do this because uh, Middle Eastern countries, Dubai, they are where business is happening. You know, like Middle Eastern fragrances are making waves. They are taking down the market by storm. Okay. And in Bangladesh, that's happening. I don't know about your country. Uh, so Latafa is one of their big big players okay so here is the bottle if i hold it against the wall you will see the juice color it almost looks like that uh i don't know japanese uh, sakura flower i think uh, that's the name a very beautiful pink it reminds me of fave delicious or some of the other ones no not fave delicious i think there was uh, one sakura itself yeah uh, that drew juice color beautiful bottle heavy heavy glass base okay amazing amazing look at that bottle presentation okay and here is that also that tag the name base is a sticker the cap is beautiful it's just stunning this bottle i love and it has weight uh got metal and i think this one looks good you know very nice the atomizer is cute okay it presses when you press this it shoots out good good juice no problem okay and i sprayed here on the paper let's go one more once more like a couple of more times okay so this fragrance is a rose delight if you're a big fan of rose as you can see from the name velvet rose definitely big player is gonna be rose okay so uh let me tell you it's a 2023 release i don't know how many reviews out there definitely there will be many reviews out there okay in a while i mean in in a short time so nose breakdown rose patchouli labdanum musk amber and musk very simple six notes but i think this is a player of rose and a little bit of a leather okay so this velvet texture, the labdanum, I think, creates that not suede really, but velvet suede slash suede. So you get that this imagine this color. I'll just tell you this color, pink, or this kind of color, uh, the leather, and then a little bit of velvet. And imagine a rose uh, smell on this. You know, this is how this fragrance smells. Jammy, no. It's like a fresh rose, almost like a Bulgarian rose to my nose. And it is beautiful floral. I must tell you, it's a beautiful floral opening. It's just nice. It reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle a little bit. And it definitely leans 
unisex but it leans more towards feminine uh crowd i would say if you love fragrances that has rose in it most of the rose are not butch like masculine most of the rose are gonna be soft or soapy or to my nose or jammy or animalic uh, none of the rose are safe usually this is one fragrance almost safe i can tell it's almost safe because very gentle opening is very gentle sensual and it has that mask it doesn't do anything crazy it doesn't do anything like a loud jammy or it will scare you with the ooze or animal instinct now this fragrance stays velvety stays a little bit suede leather like and then the beautiful bulgarian rose and i think there's plenty of citrus in it you know like when i smell this there's a citrus definitely there's a citrus like you can smell the rose with a stem and there's definitely a leaf so there's a patchouli bit of green note you can imagine the leafy smell that comes also with the stem and the rose itself it's a pink rose man such a gorgeous fragrance okay i would imagine this ladies would be wearing this with a beautiful dress and uh, you know if you don't look at the brand you know some people judge it like hey it's not chanel it's not a dior it's not like a any niche posh house it's la papa but imagine you're wearing this nobody knows what you're wearing okay and you have those dresses you know like the back in the days the actresses wore like you know their shoulders open like a top open not top open that sounds wrong what is that dress called you know like actresses back in the days like marilyn monroe would wear right so their shoulders are revealed and they have those kind of like those shawl kind of uh, those thing far or something they're holding it very classy and i'm not being able to describe it properly but you can imagine diva like okay and imagine such a beautiful lady passing by with that alluring rose smell it's not very heavy but this is leaving this nice central it's fresh at the same time it's in the air it's very much like drawing your attention you'll be like hmm, who's that you know you turn your head this one has the turning head effect okay and the thing is this fragrance doesn't do too much like you know heavy like look at me begging for attention no you look voluntarily okay <laughs> you look without someone asking hey look this way no and nobody's trying to uh, show off or trying to you know like reveal too much to get attention right this fragrance uh takes that attention naturally okay that's what i'm trying to say velvet rose is a beautiful fine fragrance i think this is for unisex but guys who can wear it a guy who can wear a salmon shirt like you know this color shirt i do have this color shirt okay with t-shirt as well so if you are happy guy you know not barbie quiet not ken but imagine a guy who is happy go lucky you know he doesn't really bother for who's criticizing who's laughing at him he drives this like a nice little i don't know suzuki's jimny or something like a rubicon you know those suvs colorful red suvs like a beautiful big or one of those you know like fancy suvs he's rich he's successful he's young he's an entrepreneur perhaps this guy would wear this fragrance carefree walking around go to a nice juice bar picking up juice you know good hair well dressed good shape i would imagine guys like that would wear this but if you're a man let me tell you who this is not for if you're a man looking for a masculine fragrance bulgari man in black amen you know give us something rough uh, i don't know interlude man this is not for them okay if you're looking to buy something that's really like you know speaks like hey give me something that smells like you know rugged leather the leather in this is not the rugged leather right so this one you can say perfect unisex fragrance leaning like 65 towards women 35 towards men but i like this fragrance this is very classy nice smelling juice it reminds me of uh, armaf club de nuit women the original one not the intense one this one has the vibe but this i would say a niche version of that very good quality polished quality no alcohol blast 100 ml juice longevity and projection it's i got about four to five hours okay i'm plenty happy with that because the price point on these are 22 25 bucks tops okay uh how much maximum you should pay 35 dollars no more than that okay so you get a beautiful presentation beautiful bottle nice smell decent longevity seasons to wear it spring summer great winter time you can wear it but when it's snowing perhaps you go heavy it's not that jammy rose so the jammy rose would be perfect to wear uh, in winter when it snows but this one is perfect let's say something like springtime okay i think that's the best time so check it out it's a new fragrance new release i would like to wear it but maybe for dating scenario or uh, you know when you go for programs you know let's the winter is starting a little bit and you're attending weddings you know <clears throat> and you don't really need to sweat that much you can wear your jackets or uh, you know cardigans that time i would wear this it would be beautiful beautifully uh, developed 
fragrance. Okay, I think this is a very beautiful sweet fragrance. So Rose de Arabi, I think, is that fragrance from Ar Armani. Correct me if I'm wrong. That one has a lot more darkness. Okay, this one is not comparable to that. So I was thinking Coco Mademoiselle and Armand Club de Nuit Women. Those two fragrances are comparable, but the velvety, sweaty texture, guys can also wear. So great fragrance, great fragrance, great quality. Uh, if this was under Chanel's brand, private blend, I think there's a fragrance called Russian leather. You know, that leather and this leather are kind of similar. Uh, but imagine the price of Russian leather of uh, Dior or Chanel. I don't remember. I think Chanel, yes, we have private collection. That goes for about 400 something dollars, right? So this one, it's somewhat, I'm not going to say same quality because they use better ingredients, but smell wise on the air, same class, okay, almost same class. So, yes, that's what makes it worth it. So, Velvet Rose, in my humble opinion, it's a fragrance must try before you buy. It's not a blind by worthy fragrance. And I think this fragrance is going to be a good fragrance if you want to gift it to your wife, you know. Uh, ladies would love this mostly, okay. Overall, my rating on this one. 8.5 out of 10. Great solid fragrance. One of the better lot of fragrances. Take care. Thanks for watching. I'll go upload this and stay well. Take care of your health. Bye bye.